Hi guys, I'm coming to y'all with uh, a very uh, requ uh, requested video. A lot of people ask um, about uh, other nail text pricing and I understand why because a lot of times you really don't know what is actually your worth or how much you should charge because of your area. You know, uh, some feel like, oh, I'm charging too much. I feel that I'm charging too much or I'm charging to less I want to go up on my prices and this video is um, about that and here it goes this is the system that I use to take payments book appointments I use square up and it's basically a little like you see now you see how it look you can swipe your card there and you can also um, use the chip And also you can use the chip right here chip and you can swipe here I think I featured this before but yeah this is what I basically use to take my payments and my appointment set clients book okay with square up you have an app that other people can go to and they can book their appointment you can put it on your social media you can put it on Instagram you can put it on Facebook and you can uh, or you can put it on your website. So I'm just going to go through. Uh, this is what I use. And I use this is Square Up app right here. This is the Square Up that it opens up and it shows my calendar. I actually do not pay for this. If you have only one employee, which is me, I'm by myself. You know, this is how uh, I, I don't get charged. Now, if you have more than one employee, then you charge based on how many employees you have. Um, I'll take it out of here because I really don't. I just want to show y'all the machine. And I'm going to take the app. You just press that button and you just remove it like that. And I think if I lay it down, it probably is better that way. Let me go ahead and move this out the way. Bring this here. How I look. And I'm going to go to the, back this way, let me show y'all. What I like about the appointment book app is that this is the app right here that you download on whatever device it tells you to download apps on. Okay, on this side of the calendar, you have calendar customers, which you can put your customers in. And also, when they book appointments, they automatically goes to your appointment book customers, too. Uh, checkout and everything like that. You got checkout here. You got online booking. That These features here is what you do to operate your system, meaning that online booking, if you want to go there, it'll show you that. Okay, now my price list is under services, guys. And I just want to show y'all that you can actually put in your services on this app. And I'm going to just go sweep down and show y'all the services that I offer and what I charge. And I'm not that expensive. Some things you might say, oh, it looks kind of expensive. I offer a manicure and pedicures. I offer a water pedicure, um, which people that don't you know don't want the water and that's my prices I offer two types of pedicures two types of manicures keep it simple and when you press this when they schedule a vintage manicure it also give you detail what you actually getting for your services the duration on how long it takes um, the price is fixed and the price is $15. And you can also put it on here. Book extra time if they're running late. Just say they're running late. You can go in there and say, okay, I need 10 more minutes. And then if you want to make it visible to your online booking or you don't. Now, some services you might not want other customers to see. They only get that when they come in. And then you can add that to their ticket. You can turn that off and on, that feature, which I do like. You can also delete the services. I'm going to exit out, okay? So that's that. So I'm just going to go by, go on and show you the pricing that I have here that y'all see. 
very reasonable priced, I think. Vintage manicure, $15. Pedicure, a regular pedicure, $30. A wireless pedicure, $25. Now, luxury, you're getting a hot towel, soft scrub. Hello? Uh, let me just open it up. It tells you what you get. You get the hot towels, the mask, the salt, the scrub, the massage, and the warm lotion. And, you know, it's for an hour, and it's $25. You just don't get any water uh, with my manicures. It's no water. I don't do water with manicures at all. Um, the luxury pedicure is the same thing, but you do get the water with this. Uh, and you get the, um, the warm oil and polish with that. Now, the only difference with this manicure here, you get some little gloves that you put your hands in the gloves that's warm and it have nutrition in there and that's what I massage the, that with that glove and once I take it off, I just, you know, all that. Okay, so that's $25. So you can just look at it as I scroll, scroll through it. I do have, um, like, if you want to add a soft gel to your manicure or to your toes, let's say, your, you know, your toes are very weak, I have, like, a soft ba um, gel base, which is nothing but a base of a gel polish, just to strengthen it up a little bit before you add your polish. And I just add that on for $5, and if you want it on both, you get $10, you know. And they can pick what they want. I don't have to... Wait till they get here and say, okay, they want some extra stuff. I tell my clients to thoroughly put, click on what you need done for that day. If you know you want to add a strengthener to your nails, please add that. Or you're not going to be able to get it when you come to my service come to your appointment because I have other clients behind you. You just got to be more specific. Now, I also have a, a more harder gel that I use. It's not, you can, it's soakable off, and you can put that on a, a, mani, a manicure and a pedicure, and that's $10 each. So it's going to be $10 whether you want a manicure or $10 um, extra if you want it. So it'll be a total of $20 if you want both. And that's just a more hardener. Uh, you want it harder. Okay, my gel polish manicure, $25. Paraffin wax, seven dollars. I have a kid Manny and Petty, which is fourteen dollars. I have polish change Manny and Petty is ten dollars. It doesn't matter what you get; it's ten dollars to change polish. Uh, with that ten dollars, it does tell you what you're going to get. You're going to get a cuticle area done, shaping the nail, and polish. That's it. Um, you know, basically, I'm just, just buffing the nails, cleaning the cuticle area with a buffer to get that skin off. You know what I'm saying? And that's $10, and you got the minutes and stuff like that. Okay, I also have a um, polish change with a polish change with pedicure, and it's buffed heels. Say they don't want to buy a whole pedicure service. They just want their heels buffed when they polish their toenails. So, I just buff it with the drill, and that's it, and polish the toes, and that's $18. No water, no massaging, no lotion, no nothing. They get a little cuticle, and that's it. Uh, and it does, I can put in detail what, it, what that is. Push back the cut cuticles, buff the nails, buff the heels, polish the toes, $18. Okay, I do offer silk wraps. They don't get it as much. I, I, every now and then I have a customer. You can get it with or without the tips, and that's my prices to that. Acrylics. Um, it's whether you want tips or scopes. I have prices for that. Acrylic tip set with regular polish is $35. To add lint to it, it'll be $10. It doesn't matter if you want medium or long. It's going to be 10 extra dollars. Once you pass that regular lint, that normally is short to medium. Um, short to medium is basically $35. Now, if you want it longer than short to medium, it's going to be $10. Now, the extra, extra long is going to be twice that, $20. So, that's they just have to push that button twice if they want extra, extra long. Uh, when I say long nails, the nail needs, a long nail is an inch from the cuticle area to the free edge is an inch total. That's a long nail to me. 
Okay, I got an acrylic set, and if they want to add gel polish to their acrylics, it will be $40. And, um, you know, it's on there just as they, they sh it's, it's very explanatory. Um, I don't have to sit there and wait for them to come here and decide, okay, what type of acrylic you want. You want gel polish on your acrylics now, and then regular polish? Come on now. And a lot of, a lot of clients would do that because they're trying to see if you're not going to forget to add that gel polish knowing that it costs more so you'll have clients that do that but those clients that do that I'm like okay but you have to remember to put that acrylic tip full set at gel polish okay do you see it has acrylic tip full regular polish that's why I put it like that so you telling me you don't know how to read Okay, and then I have an overlay without tips. My price, um, ombre two colors, full set is $45. You can do a fill with ombre, but you're only going to get that top color, and I'm going to kind of fade it as, as much as possible. Um, it's going to be $30. Now, if I still have to pull those two colors, you might as well say it's going to be, um, it's gonna be uh, a full set if I got to pull two colors. Uh, gel polish change on acrylics. I do have clients that um, want to just change their polish. $15 to come change your polish. Some places charge $20 to come change your um, gel polish. I charge $15 um, because you're taking off that gel polish, you're shaping that nail pretty much back in shape and smooth out the surface and you're adding it. So I charge $15 for that. Um, I make it look like you do not need a fill. Acrylic big toe is five dollars. A fill on a big toe is three dollars. Broken nails, guys. If I if you have one broken nail and you getting a fill, I don't charge for it. But if you're not getting a fill, you come in, you get charged five dollars for one broken nail. If you have two or three broken nails, I charge another five dollars. Now, if you have three to four to five broken nails, that's going to be each, each, each. And after three nails, I tell you, you know what? You might as well soak this off and get a new set because you're almost paying for a full set of nails. After three nails, I'm like, okay, that's seven fingers. You hear me? <laughs> but hey, if you want to charge, if you wants to pay fifteen dollars for three nails, you go right ahead. Okay, uh, broken acrylic cut down. Now I do have clients, you know, they might start a job, they just got a fresh set, they want them cut down. I charge ten dollars to cut them down. I, you know, I, uh, I make sure I thin out the free edge, and that's it. That's it. Cut down, thin out the free edge, and. That's it. You ten dollars. I don't shape. I don't buff. I don't do nothing. I don't care if you have polish on there. I sharpen them, thin out the free edge from the bottom of the nail because I'm not repainting. If you have polish on there, now it's a different story if you took your polish off, and I will thin out from the top. But most of the time, um, if you go come get this, you will get thinned out from the bottom, whether you have long nails or not underneath there. And that is just a courtesy. That that's what I'll do. Ten dollars, cause I'm not uh, doing nothing else to that. Okay, gel polish change without a fill acrylics is fifteen dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, I went back. Now, also, if you want to cut down with polish, now I will go from the top and work my way down and thin out the thing, everything from the top to the free edge. And that's fifteen dollars. And the other one with no polish is ten dollars. Okay. Um, Acrylics uh, removal and gel base and regular polish. Now, if they want to remove their nails and their nails kind of weak in that, I'll put a gel base on there to strengthen them back up for them until they're ready to get acrylics again. And that's $18. Um, acrylic removal and acrylic natural over overlay, meaning that they don't want any tips or anything. That's $40. Acrylic removals and uh, uh, add acrylic nails with tips. That's $45. Acrylic removal soft off without a new set. That's if they don't want anything, they just want to soak their nails off, it's $10. And what I do for that $10, I do, I soak it off, I buff the nail, clean up the fingernails and everything, and make them look nice. So when they leave. Acrylic pink and white tip full set, $45. Sculpted acrylic full set is $45. Huh. I'm kind of skeptical about that. Then I got the pink and white full set. 
the acrylic full set is just clear. They just want clear and they want it sculpted with a foam. 45, if they want pink and white, it will be 50. They want a rebalanced pink and white feel, 30. Um, and so on, so on. Um, our acrylic removal as sculpted acrylic set, $45. Uh, acrylic color powders full set $35 acrylic color color powder fill same color not change the color $25 if they want to change the color it will be like you $35 without a soak off meaning that I'm gonna thin it down as much as possible but you still gonna be charged for a full set so it's up to you if you want to charge the removal fee or you don't and you still want that color that's gonna be just sand down enough but you also can see it underneath the nail acrylic dip full set with tips $40 without tips is $35 I got a hard gel full set which you cannot soak off which is $50 hard gel fill is $35 um, y'all have to realize when you do a hard gel fill you don't have to do as much as work as like acrylic fill so that's $35. I might move that up shortly to $40, but I'm just going to keep it to $35 because to me it's pretty easy to do a fill on a gel set. Basic nail art, guys. Um, I charge $2 per nail, and, that, and it tells you specifically what type of nail art you can get for that $2. Don't think you're coming in there for them $2 and you're getting rhinestones and all that. Example, you probably get swirls, marbling, nail stamping, ombre, or decal. Okay, I have basic nail art, 10 nail stamping designs, $10 mean each, each nail is a dollar for stamping, nothing extra, nothing um, fantastic, color in and all that. Um, two bling nails with, rind, with round, round stones, meaning that they're not going to have shapes or anything, so it's two nails for $10. Okay, and if they want to understand what rind, round rhinestones are, full nail with different sizes of crystals without a shaped, shaped it stone. Okay, and I got two bling nail shapes and rhinestones, and it's fifteen dollars for two. Um, acrylic three D. We read here acrylic. 3D nail art, two nails, $15. Nail art with alloy charms and stones, two nails is $20. Now, you know what the alloy charms is. It's the big old charms, like, um, you know what I'm talking about. Those charms to where it's already prepared, decorated. It's not like a flat back rhinestone. Oh, Swarovski, whatever. $20 for that. Um, in the near future, you can also put other stuff on your uh, price list that other people cannot see, and I have already did it. I have finished my cosmetology um, hours. I have to go take my test. But unfortunately, I owe a balance on my um, tuition, so I'm roughly $3,000 of owing. So I'm going to have to get that out of the way so I can go ahead and take my test, but I have finished my 1,500 hours. So until then, I already did put everything that I will offer that I want to do for as eyelashes and individual eyelashes and brow tinting and brows and mustache and chin. So I already put that in there. Like I told you, you don't have to let them see that during booking. This is just for your purposes when you get ready to start um, offering these services. Like strip eyelashes, $20 for strip eyelashes and, you know that that and I also have one in here with strip eyelashes if you want to bring your own which is fifteen dollars um, I don't have a problem with you bringing your lashes not everybody you know they might not, they got a Pacific lash that they like that they buy from Walgreen Walmart wherever they buy their eyelashes if they want to bring them it's still gonna be fifteen dollars for me to apply them individual lashes um, I charge I want to charge eighty dollars for individual lashes and the reason why I got this price is by just saying I have 40 lashes on each eye and each lash is a dollar okay it's not necessarily saying you have 40 eyelashes but that's how I came up with my price and I'm sticking to it each lash is going to be a dollar because it's very time consuming to put that one lash on that one eyelash. <laughs> okay, wax brows, $12. Wax brow, mustache, and chin. 
$25. Uh, wax brow, sideburns, mustache, chin, and cleavage is $45. Brow clean up, no wax. Meaning that they want to get it plucked. If they just want to get it plucked, I'll just charge them $5 to just clean that up without any wax. I could charge $10, but, you know, I have those little ladies, old ladies, that want to just get a little pluck here and there. And I just charge $5 for that. And, you know, you're just taking out... Um, some hairs that's just a little bit around the um, area. I ain't talking about do a full blown in between the eyes and all that. You're just doing a little short clean up to where it looks like they, you know, hair is not just wild everywhere. Um, brow tint, ten dollars. Um, brow tint, I can charge more than that. I could charge um, twenty dollars for brow tint. Um, I might go up on that fifteen or twenty dollars. I'll just think about it. Now you see the braid for uh, braids for so ends. I do do that now. Uh, people want their hair braided down half a head, fifteen dollars. Now we're not talking about long hair. We're talking about the the average size hair, and I might raise that to twenty dollars too. But that's only half a head, half a head from ear to ear. That right there, that's it. And um, I just braid it down to the scalp. Um, and they leave the rest of the back out to do as they please. And I also have full hair. It's $25. We're not talking about long length hair. Um, average size hair. You know, average length hair. Um, not hair going down your back. And then, you know, hair going down your back, you know, that's going to be a different story. Um, I'm going to probably have to add, if it's going down your back, middle of your back probably an extra 15 more dollars and I might just even say even 40 dollars um, service redos now if you have a service redo and you have to like you know they polish messed up when they went down the street that is still time even though you might not charge for it you might want to charge for it but if it's that same day or they broke a nail um, the next day within 24 hours you could choose to charge for that five dollars or you could choose to just go ahead and do it for them and so you can make a service like that for zero in it and you just put it in there when they call you and say okay i have a um something happened you know i do sell gift cards and this is how the gift cards are and most of the time the gift cards is for mostly people buy for manicures and pedicures and i have the amounts right here and when you click on one it tells you in details what you're getting for that gift card okay and um they can just um go on go on the booking site press the gift card and come pay me or they can pay online if i have that feature if i have that feature on you don't have to have that feature to where they pay before the service which i turned that off because hey i don't want to pay before a service but if a client um uh, if you if you feel you they need to pay before it, you have to think about why. Why are they paying before a service? Uh, they running late all the time, this and that. But once you turn it on, that's going to go for every client. So I try, I don't turn it on. These, the gift cards, they can just um, book it. They can just tell me what they want. I can get it ready. And then they can just come to the shop and pick it up. Or if they ha they come in for an appointment and they want a gift card, they can just add it to their that, and I'll have it ready for them. Um, I do have want to start nail classes, and this is how I'm going to charge for my nail classes through this app. And you can see that I have the nail enhancements nails, and I have um, about four courses here, and the amount of those courses, and that's how much it's going to be. Now these are ready. It's out of order right here. And in order to bring these where I want them, you have to have a computer to go to and go to your Square Up account. And you go to your appointment book and you go to um, organize your services. And you just tap on it and just move it up wherever you want to move it to have it organized. And that's that. And you see right here it says one broken nail free. So if somebody wants to come get a broken nail, one broken nail with a fill, that's, they'll just add that. And how many, they'll just keep pressing and say how many they have. And if they have one, they can just press that. They won't get charged for it. When they come get a fill and they say, I got a broken nail, they'll put a fill and click a broken nail too. So I'll know that I will be repairing a broken nail. If they have two broken nails, you know, 
uh, it says on here one broken nail with feel free. So if you have two broken nails, you will go find the broken nail and put it on there so I can have time to fulfill two broken nails instead of one broken nail. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So that's what I like about this is that when they do book the appointment, it shows how long it would take to get their services done. And even though I say I could do an acrylic set for an hour and 15 minutes, I put it for one thirty, make it even, you know, because you have to clean up for your next one, you know? So that is how I do my pricing. That's how I price. And this is what I use to for my customers to see. I also have a price list on the wall, which I need to update because a lot of these things are not on, are no longer on there. And so, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Very easy um, peasy. Uh, if you want to go to something, say your online booking, um, this is my online booking. I go there and I tell you the sites that I want the online booking to be on. And that is that. Now, like I said, if you want to make any changes to your account, you know what. You, oh, and also with this, when they do pay with a card or anything, you send them a receipt. You can send them a receipt to, through their text or through their email, which I do like. I really do like Square Up. But the only thing about Square Up, you pay a percentage for 2.75% on each dollar. So, uh, on dollar amount. So, uh, they have a lot of people say, if you use your card, if you want to use your card, you're going to be charged this. But if you want to use, um, say, Zelle, which um, Zelle features in my account. So, I won't get that 275 I really do, um, I like, like say they don't have, they, they don't want to use it that way and they persist on not using the cash app, then you would have to use this up. But, you know, if y'all want to get around not using the fees for the 2.75, 2 I'm just telling you a way you can do that and that is by using uh, your, um, Zell um, app or your cash app and you can, they can just pay you through that and then um, to keep a record of it you would go to your calendar pick them and, and put cash instead of credit card because if you put credit card you're going to have to pay through this so I hope you understand what I'm talking about if you want to avoid those transaction fees they say okay well I can't afford to um, give you give you two dollars on a service you're going to have to use your um, your Zelle or your cash app and you would have to you know and then you can just cash them out as they pay cash then that's it or you can just um charge them two dollars to use your um to use their debit card or a dollar you know or you can say okay well we're gonna do 2.75 on that percentage and that's how much extra you're going to have to pay. So it's, it's, it's always a way to, you know, get around that. Because you can say I'm a dollar and they, they only charging you 30 cents. So, you know, you still got them for 70 cents. So you can say, okay, 2.75 if you want to use your credit card here. So, I hope y'all enjoy my price listing. I haven't showed that before. And uh, if y'all have any questions, y'all leave it in the description box. If y'all, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, <laughs> uh, hit the subscribe button. I don't, I don't push notification, y'all. I really don't because uh, I'm subscribed to a lot of people and I don't hit the notification button because the notification button, you have so many you have to go through and stuff like that and, and notify, notifying you and stuff like that. It's overwhelming when you, you're very busy and trying to get through your emails, trying to get through, um, you know, a lot of stuff. So um, I think your notification go through your YouTube. I don't know if it go through your email. I'm not sure. So I don't really... 
it's it's you know you can go to your subscription and you can go to your subscription in YouTube and see all your all who you are following with and who coming out with videos and just click okay it's not that hard you don't have to just look at your home screen to see who came out with videos you can go to your subscription at the bottom and you'll see all your all your followers all your subscriptions that you have and you can just pick through there go through there because if you just uh you know but anyway this 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 I'm just rambling now. All right, guys. Um, until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.